You know, when uh, uh, disasters happen, usually uh, most of the telecommunication infrastructure are destroyed, either naturally or purposely. And uh, there is a need to restore at least uh, temporary the equipment to help all the respondents communicate and to help the rest of the world know what is happening in that country. Telecommunications are part of, it's the largest part of the relief activities. And this is something you have to do, uh, not uh, for one day or two days. Number one, you have to provide relief and then later on help restore, rehabilitate the infrastructure. And because of that, you need fund. And it's something you have to do and uh, consistently. And you have to make sure that, you know, uh, the funds you have, it's a process that is sustainable. Uh, that's why, you know, the SSDM advisory board decided uh, to set up a fund for that so that, you know, when disaster uh, occurs, people are prepared in advance and then uh, they can help provide some relief to uh, disaster stricken countries. Uh, there is a lot of money spent uh, in that area to provide relief to a disaster stricken population or countries. But today it's dispersed, scattered. You have the wood fo uh, food program having funds, spending. The World Bank would be spending funds, uh, the Bill Gates Foundation spending funds. So it's scattered. And we think that, you know, uh, if it is well organized and there is a fund, number one, we will need less money to do more than what we have been doing. And then it will be something we can do consistently. And it won't be only uh, providing relief to country, but uh, we can work on disaster preparedness help people, you know, you know, train people locally so that we have people, local people, who know how to address those situations when it happens. Not just waiting for people flying from outside in to provide relief, number one. And then we can have in those, in all the countries, actually, you know, because no country is immune to that. It could be natural disaster, it could be uh, people provoke disasters, but no country is immune to that. So we can have in all the country people prepare. First of all, and then we can educate people also how to address the first steps when it happens. So uh, we think that, you know, it's something we can do and uh, we just have to uh, put in place a good value proposi proposition, meaning explain to people the benefit of doing that. Because we do not only address ICT for the disaster management, it's also ICT for development. Because, you know, all the infrastructure using, used for normal development of country can be used when there is disaster. So we don't want to separate, you know, ICT for development to ICT for disaster management. There must be a bridge between, uh, from you know, our traditional net, you know, telecommunication network that can be used also as a basis. You know, it depends on it can be used uh, for disaster management. The problem now, we have to think differently how we conceive our networks. 
So we have to educate people so that they know that, you know, when you build your network, you have to provide for backup in case of, you know, uh, disaster situations. And this is something we have uh, to educate people to do. It won't take more money th than they, sp they spend to build their network. It's just a matter of engineering, how to conceive, how to prepare their network. So this is something we have to do, definitely. And we think that if we do so, definitely we will be able. Uh, and that's w what you know the SSDM initiative is all about. It's ICT for development, bridging to ICT for digital management.